RBI Grade 81 was developed in South Africa to construct specialized, heavy-duty roads capable of withstanding extremely high axle loads. It has since been improved and optimized, deployed in over 82 countries all over the world, and has a highly successful 15-year track record in India. Road Building International has the exclusive license to manufacture and sell RBI Grade 81 in India. Pavements built with RBI Grade 81 have several benefits to cost, time, strength and durability and help protect our fragile natural environment. You may be aware that aggregate is a scarce and non-renewable commodity and is highly environmentally damaging to mine. Yet it is a core component in the construction of dams, bridges, flyovers, railway track beds, buildings and more. We must take responsibility and care in our utilization of this scarce resource and ensure we leave behind a sustainable landscape for our children and generations to come. Roads and highways is a sector that can pave the way forward, as there are many technologies available to construct better and cheaper roads with minimal aggregate use. The question must be asked, why are we not adopting them more aggressively? RBI Grade 81 is already in the SORs of eight states in the country. RBI Grade 81 is a high-performance solution designed to construct highways, expressways, rural roads, high-altitude roads, critical application roads, and more. Over 700 kilometers of all manner of roads, highways, and other pavements have been successfully constructed in India using RBI Grade 81. RBI Grade 81 is an advanced soil stabilizer that re-engineers the in-situ soil and increases its strength and load-bearing capacity. It is patented worldwide and in India and is the only stabilizer that is registered as a soil stabilizer in its country of origin. In a world where connectivity is paramount and resources are increasingly constrained, soil stabilization is the perfect solution to construct world-class roads that are better, stronger, cheaper, and environmentally friendly. A pavement once constructed is regularly subjected to moisture infiltration from several sources, such as surrounding landscape, a high or rising water table, drainage systems, and even rising up through the pavement layers via capillary action. This infiltration reaches the structural layers like the base and sub-base of the pavement and can cause wearing and softening of these layers in unstabilized designs, thus reducing the strength and layer modulus. Layers constructed using RBI Grade 81 have extremely low water permeability and significantly help reduce the influence of moisture on the pavement. The strength and stiffness of RBI Grade 81 layers is well maintained even when saturated in water for long periods of time. CSIR, the Indian Institute of Toxicology Research Lucknow, has certified the application of RBI Grade 81 with soil to be safe, with no contamination to groundwater. RBI Grade 81 stabilized layers exhibit continuous gains in strength for up to 300 days after application and become incompressible in nature. RBI Grade 81 stabilized layers exhibit a composite behavior showcasing both rigid volume and flexible behavior. The stability of an RBI Grade 81 pavement is maintained even with varying water content. The pavement shows good drainage behavior as the ingressed water is not allowed to accumulate. This also ensures that the pavement exhibits non-frost susceptible qualities. Pavement layers built with RBI Grade 81 under controlled specifications are easy to compact and work with. RBI Grade 81 can be applied to effectively treat and strengthen the subgrade, sub-base, base course and hard shoulders using only the in-situ soil and little to no aggregate. Before preparing the structural design of any pavement, it is critical to evaluate the properties of the construction materials to be used. Several trial mix compositions are prepared and tested for their laboratory performance, and the one meeting the required design parameters is selected. These pre-construction tests include testing the various soil samples collected from site and preparing and testing the different trial mix compositions in order to ascertain the optimum dosage of RBI Grade 81. Here, the material composition is being tested for the presence of heavy metals and their leachability. From left to right, UCS being measured on cubicle specimen, UCS being measured on cylindrical specimen, indirect tensile strength measurements. The results are then used to calculate the modulus value of the composite material. For the direct measurement of the elastic modulus value of the composite material, 
We use beam specimens to test for their flexural strength and modulus of rupture. Durability testing for wetting and drying cycles. Once testing is complete and the required strength parameters are achieved, the structural design of the pavement may be undertaken as per IRC 37 guidelines. IRC 37 guidelines recommend three performance criteria to be satisfied. First, fatigue performance in the bottom layer of the bituminous surface course is evaluated to find the fatigue life on account of the repeated tensile loading conditions generated by the design traffic. Next, rutting criterion for the subgrade is used to check the cumulative settlement of the subgrade under repeated traffic movement. Finally, the fatigue life of the cementitious base layer needs to be satisfied for the design traffic. Depending upon the category of road being designed, the equations corresponding to 80% and 90% reliability are selected. 90% reliability equations are utilized for more critically demanding pavements such as national highways, expressways, state highways and the like. As per IRC 37, the following chart is to be used to calculate the effective design CBR when an embankment of higher strength is built over an existing subgrade of weaker strength. However, Using RBI Grade 81 for subgrade stabilization, the requirement to build embankments using good quality borrow materials can be completely avoided. All testing and designs with RBI Grade 81 conform to IRC SP89 codes, which were specifically developed for the design of stabilized pavements. Any of the following crust compositions may be chosen as per prevailing site conditions and commercial constraints of the project. Either of the base, sub-base, or even both may be stabilized using RBI Grade 81. Here we have a comparative example of a conventional pavement and an RBI Grade 81 stabilized pavement, with both the base and sub-base layers stabilized. The design traffic is 150 MSA with a design CBR of 3%. The pavement designed using RBI Grade 81 allows for a reduction in crust thickness by 43%. RBI Grade 81 is a versatile material and the construction methodology employed can be adapted according to the type of machineries available at the project site. This diagram provides a broad outline of the steps involved in constructing a road using RBI Grade 81 using an in-situ mixing methodology. In the next slide, we will outline two different methods of mixing RBI Grade 81 with pavement materials. These are in-situ mixing and in-plant mixing. Steps 1 to 3 are executed conventionally as per MORTH guidelines. After completion of profiling, the optimum dosage of RBI Grade 81 stabilizer is spread on the prepared surface using a spreader. Next, specialized machinery is used to scarify the in-situ soil to the required depth, with simultaneous application and mixing of RBI Grade 81 along with the addition of required moisture content. Upon completion of this process, the mixed layer is then graded as per conventional practices and the compaction should be completed within 4 hours of mixing. The compacted layer is then cured to maintain the optimum moisture content. It should be noted that homogeneous mixing along with good compaction and proper curing are the cornerstones to ensure a durable long-lasting RBI Grade 81 pavement. One of the critical considerations for RBI Grade 81 stabilization is the choice of mixing methodology adopted. Influencing factors for this consideration are the available material characteristics, site conditions, and the project economics. In-plant mixing utilizes conventionally available WMM plants for preparing the RBI Grade 81 stabilized material mix, which is then transported to the construction site for laying. In-situ mixing allows for on-site application of construction materials and RBI Grade 81 that are both mixed in place using specialized machinery. If conventional machinery is to be used, then a WMM plant can be used to prepare the mix of soil and RBI grade 81, which can then be transported to site and paved using a conventionally available paver. If specialized machinery is available, the RBI grade 81 can directly be spread on the prepared surface using a truck mounted spreader or any other suitable precise method. After spreading the RBI Grade 81, both the soil and RBI Grade 81 material can be mixed in place using specialized machinery. Required moisture content can be simultaneously added while mixing is in process.
various types of rollers that may be utilized for compaction upon completion of mixing. Once the stabilized layer is compacted, it is to be cured to avoid any moisture loss from the mix. The compacted layer should be cured for a minimum of 7 days or until the next layer is laid, whichever is earlier. The surface bituminous coarse being laid on top of the prepared base layer. FDR methodology is a mechanized recycling or strengthening of the existing pavement which may have deteriorated over time or needs to be strengthened for higher traffic requirements. All the existing material of the pavement layers can be reclaimed and restored to the desired strength by stabilizing them with RBI grade 81, thereby eliminating the need for any additional foreign materials like aggregate, good soil, etc. Besides having a proper design and a well-defined methodology, quality control at site is of utmost importance in order to achieve the desired results. The following checks should be kept in mind while working with the stabilized pavements. Once the mix has been paved, moisture content of the layer should be checked and corrected if needed before compaction. Laying and compaction must then be completed within 4 hours of mixing, otherwise proper compaction and related density may not be achieved. The compacted layer after it has been initially set should be checked for its field dry density the next day. To prevent moisture loss, the stabilized layer should be covered with a prime coat or in case of any delays, a loose sand layer may be laid over it. Strength tests should be performed only after 28 days of curing since RBI grade 81 is a cementitious material which gains the requisite strength by this time. The construction of stabilized pavements needs to be checked and verified at each stage to cater to any modifications arising out of the prevailing site conditions. It's also important to conduct a performance evaluation of the constructed roads so that the findings may help authority agencies like IRC to further refine the developed design considerations. RBI grade 81 pavements require little to no maintenance over the course of their design life. RBI grade 81 is capable of modifying, binding and strengthening almost all types of construction material, be it soils of any type, inferior quality aggregate or even various kinds of industrial waste. It is also extremely effective in the recycling of bituminous or concrete pavements. Case studies for pavements built with RBI grade 81 in India will be presented in the following slides. The Ministry of Environment, Forests and Climate Change conducted a research project in 2013 on the viability of using RBI Grade 81 to construct all manner of roads in the prevailing conditions of the nation. Various organizations were involved in this project to ensure a complete and comprehensive study. The performance of the test roads constructed under this project were evaluated using state-of-the-art equipment. Falling weight deflectometer was used to find or back-calculate the layer modulus. Ground penetrating radar provided a comprehensive assessment of the consistency of the underlying layers. Network survey vehicle was used to assess any surface irregularities, riding quality, etc. These are photographs of some of the test roads constructed under this project. The FWD results for the test sections evaluated under this research project. They show significant reduction in deflection values of the RBI grade 81 stabilized sections. These findings clearly emphasize the increased strength of the RBI grade 81 stabilized layers. The findings of the GPR survey highlight the consistent quality of the roads being built using RBI grade 81. There were no soft spots or cracks spotted in the RBI grade 81 stabilized layers. No surface cracks were observed on any of the test roads. Rutting behavior was significantly reduced to just 30 to 40 percent of the conventional sections. The findings of the research project highlighted huge savings in terms of construction materials, time, cost, and additional environmental benefits. Indian design standards are some of the highest and most stringent across the world. RBI Grade 81 technology can easily satisfy and surpass these requirements. We will now present a few case studies of various types of roads constructed using RBI Grade 81 in India.
A trial stretch was constructed for NHIDCL in the state of Arunachal Pradesh to demonstrate the effectiveness of RBI Grade 81 in the region. The trial project also specified an adjacent lane that was to be built using conventional designs in order to provide a direct comparison with the RBI Grade 81 stabilized pavement. A photo can speak a million words, and we can see clearly that the conventional pavement has deteriorated after just one year due to soil conditions being extremely poor, along with unfavorable site conditions. The RBI Grade 81 layer remained intact and in good condition. The comparative study in the performance of the two roads built with distinct technologies was evaluated by the Central Road Research Institute, CSIR New Delhi. The report clearly emphasizes no signs of distress and better riding quality for the RBI Grade 81 stabilized sections and that the stabilized base layers were in a dry and stable condition. Of further note, the distressed conventional sections were built a full eight months after the RBI Grade 81 sections. The report recommends the use of RBI Grade 81 stabilization technology. We believe this video speaks for itself. It may be observed that the stabilized layer remains completely intact with no disintegration even during the slab cutting operation. The Neoma Advanced Landing Strip was the first to be built in this highly strategic region under extreme weather conditions. The finished surface was immediately put to use to support landings of heavy aircraft. The project was a national milestone and was widely covered in the mainstream media. तस्वीरों की जबानी भारतीय वायुसेना के नए इतिहास की कहानी भारतीय वायुसेना का एयरक्राफ्ट ए एन बत्तीस है ये पहली बार जी हाँ पहली बार ये एयरक्राफ्ट भारत चीन सीमा पर स्थित नियोमा एयरबस पर सफलता पूर्वक उतारा गया है Port roads were constructed at Krishna Patnam Port using RBI Grade 81 that had to cater to extremely high traffic loads. The finished pavement. Field cores extracted after 28 days are completely intact and demonstrate a stable and firm condition of the RBI Grade 81 stabilized layer. Here we have a field core from a pavement where both the base and sub base have been stabilized using RBI Grade 81. RBI Grade 81 has been successfully utilized in the construction of roads and highways the world over and has a number of approvals, recommendations and certifications. And numerous scientific studies from the world's most reputed institutes. At Road Building International, we employ the most stringent standards and the very best raw materials and processes to ensure flawless pavements and service. RBI Grade 81 is manufactured at our state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Jaipur with significant capacity and geographic expansion in process. To conclude, we reiterate that RBI Grade 81 is the world's best advanced soil stabilizer. Thank you for your time. You can now direct any questions and queries you may have towards our technical team.